All right. In this video, I'm gonna share how to uh, get more views and possible to increase your subscribers on your YouTube channel. And before I get started, I want to share with you of those that live within the U.S. that you can get a Google Ads coupon if you never had a Google account or never utilized a Google account. Um, or you can put your email into this browser and they will shoot a promo code to your uh, Gmail uh, account. And as you click it, they give you instructions how to put this uh, promo code. And you got up to 31 days to uh, spend this uh, coupon. It's $150 that you don't have to spend that's coming from Google which is pretty cool it has helped me out a lot on uh, Google ad spend so I just want to share those that are outside of uh, US uh, click you know just type in in a Google browser a Google ad coupon and see what populate it may vary according to the territory and uh, where you got and where you live at and your location okay I am in my Google's account and we're going to dive in how to create this campaign. This is my results right over here where this circle. Uh, I've been running some campaigns and little as two cents per view. I had about 2K views, 187,000 impressions and 2K interactions. And it was very at a very, very low cost. So you see right here the average cost per view is two cents that is very low quality too but let's get started when you're in your Google Ads coupon I mean not Google Ads coupon sorry Google Ads account you're gonna click on right over here Google Ads make sure you click that and you're gonna go to campaigns and as you go to Google campaigns you're gonna click this blue button and you're gonna create a new campaign you're gonna come across seven tabs we're going to go to create a campaign without goals guidance, meaning we don't have we don't have strictions. If we pick sales, it's going to be strictly on sale. If we pick leads, it's going to be on leads. This one is without no goal guidance. So we can create this from scratch scratch with less restrictions, less uh, goal restrictions. So we're going to click that. We're going to come into the select campaign type and we're going to click video. We're going to make sure this top bubble custom video campaign is click which is going to be the skippable in-stream ads bumper ads or video discovery ads we're going to make sure this one is clicked on the top click continue all right for testing purposes you can name this campaign according to the video or what you're sharing for this tutorial purpose I'm going to click test one on one two and uh, bid strategy make sure this is cost per view which we're going for campaign total on the budget dates we're going to make sure this is daily it takes up to one to two business days for our ads to be approved if you got any issues if, if it goes any longer than that you can click click on this bubble right here this question mark and you can call this number and and and, and call them up to see what's going on with your ads to make sure it goes through the approval process and make your approval process go uh, faster okay on the budget dates two dollars and fifty cents you can go higher but for testing we're gonna put two dollars and fifty cents you can go even lower than that but two dollars and fifty cents a day we're gonna go to uh, networks make sure this unchecked Make sure these two are checked YouTube search results and YouTube videos. Uh, reason why I don't check video partners or display networks, it goes outside YouTube videos and YouTube search results to third party sites and apps uh, that may not be relevant to the content or product that you're sharing. Uh, I've usually put all languages. I do not want to restrict. I want to reach all those besides just English speaking. I want to reach diversity languages. So I leave this all languages. And for this ad campaign, we're going to do two split ad campaigns. For this one, we're going to be putting United States, Canada. Australia 
and United Kingdom. All right, scroll down, inventory type. This is uh, where your ads will be shown on a content right for your brand. Leave that standard. If you want to reach more broad, usually I click this one because it don't matter me. I'm trying to reach as many. But for tutorial purpose, you know, we just keep it on standard. It's still going to reach massives for inventory type. For excluded content, you can opt these out if you want to. But for this, I'm going to leave these unchecked. Excluded type and labels according to the rating of the video. I'm not trying to restrict nobody. Leave this unchecked on excluded types and labels. Additional settings, you're going to click this button. You know I'm moving a little bit fast. So I slow down. Um, usually on devices, I uncheck TV screen. But if you don't have no data, nothing at all, and if it's a fresh account, I leave these uh, checked for now because you're trying to get data populated and you're going to utilize this data to retarget as well. So for right now, we're going to leave all these devices checked. Frequency capping, this is for retargeting purposes. Uh, usually for this one, if you don't want to show it to the same user, you can uh, like, for instance, like, hey, I want to show it every single day. You know how you be seeing the same person, the same ad, especially skippable ads. You could, the frequency you can put like once per week. Like I want my ad to just show if that user came interaction with my ad. I just want to show once a week to that user. I don't want to uh, uh, impose or be annoying to the <laughs> to the YouTuber, the ones that's watching videos, and I don't want to. Eventually, I don't want to be blocked. So you can uh, you can put on a frequency cap. You can just break up your ad. But for now, since it's uh, fresh, I'm going to just leave that unchecked. Cap frequency is the same thing. Interaction with the same user. Depending on how many, how many times your ad pops up, same thing, similar thing. Now we're going to go to uh, ad group name. Test one one two five demographic age uh, pretty self explanatory uh, according to you you can uh, target if it's a fresh account I leave these checks so you can gather more data if you already have an account and you already know your audience and your age bracket that interact interact with your channel then you can uncheck check these boxes of the age bracket, the genders, the parental style, and the household income according how individuals go according to those brackets or how the way they interact with your YouTube channel. Right now, I'm going to just leave these checked. Audiences. This is the one right here that we're going to be targeting on. And according to what you're sharing right now, I'm doing... Um, how to set up YouTube ads. So I'm going to do YouTube ads. And it's going to pull up audiences according to what I'm sharing. And so I can click advertising marketing, CEO, business. I can click all these. Because these are audiences possibility as relevant to what I'm sharing. Now I'm gonna click out of this. If you have, you know, if you have a skincare, you type in this browser. If it's a salon skincare, you type in a, a keyword, and it'll pull up uh, relevant um, relevant audiences according to what you're sharing of audiences, and also these audiences uh, are very uh, interactive. They click, they view, and all that. It's a little bit different from the keywords the topics and placements and right now we're going to focus on audiences and you could pick like three or four of these and fool around with that and see which audiences is the most uh active and interactive of what your uh youtube video and whatever you're uh, advertising or what you're sharing and according to my product i put uh youtube ads for example and this is the audience that it populated so I'm going to pick that. 
Now you could type in something different, like again, type up something different according to your product or what you're sharing, and it will populate an audience. Also with uh, ideas, it shows all these, and when you uh, hover over these, it show which each audience is about. Like for this one, social media. This is a category of related audiences, and also uh, the YouTube top categories. And it has here on the top it says people who spend significant time on engaging with social media, including social networks. So each one of these, you just hover over this with your uh, with your arrow, with your mouse, and it will populate up and show you what each audience and what it represents, what each audience represents to curtail of uh, what you're sharing. All right. Keywords, I'm going to leave this undone. Usually I do this with different ad groups. Right now, I'm just showing you uh, with the audience. And we're going to be dealing with audience right now. We're going to not mess with placements. Placements, you can place your videos in, uh, in front of any uh, YouTube channel. But right now, we're not fooling with any placements, topics, or keywords. All right, maximum bed. You can go as low as one cent cost per view, 10%, 10 cent cost per view and up depending how your competition we're going to start with 0 0.05 because i've been getting a lot of a lot of results with 0, 0 0.5 not meaning you're going to pay five cent it varies depending on the country uh for right now five cents all right we're about done with this one i'm gonna we're gonna go to your youtube channel i'm gonna grab from over here which is my shareable link go back over here and paste and we're gonna shoot for video discovery this is video discovery see this on my right side right here how to way this populate available impressions 4.6 billion impressions according to my our two dollar fifty cents budget and five cents bid strategies this is the estimate 440 to 1300 k views that's what a two dollars and fifty cents a day and these are our available impressions per day and this is the cost per view between 0 0.01 cents to 0 0.05 cents. And I'm gonna spend mostly 95% of my budget, which is not bad. You will fill this headline out according to what you're sharing or what product. Usually on this headline, I, I will give you uh, up to par. Uh, make sure it's up to 22 characters. Because uh, 22 characters show up, you can fill this whole thing out, but 22 characters on this headline really uh, shows up on the desktop and mobile. Let me see. Easy. Sorry. Easy. Hey. YouTube ads. See how that shows right there on um, within 22 uh, characters because if you go past 22 characters it's not going to show all this is going to just show so much but when people see that and see that thumbnail that's how the way it's going to show on the uh, youtube discovery youtube discovery ads is like when you're uh searching a browser and you see this uh relevant uh thumbnail this uh, video with this thumbnail according to uh, what content that you're searching on searching for you will see a video with the thumbnail with the ad these are the discovery ad that pop up to the related videos that you're searching for and this how the way is going to show on uh, mobile and this is how the way is going to show on desktop For description, I'm just put test. You just put a short description of what you're sharing on your video. Put test. You just fill it out according to what you're sharing. Very short. And on you make sure you do your ad name, which is test.
and we're done with that campaign. Sorry, let me click out of that one because I'm going a little bit too fast. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to campaigns again. And I'm going to create another one. And this time we're going to target, we're going to do the same thing, same scenario, create campaign without goal guidance. We're going to go to video. We're going to go to custom video campaign and we're going to click continue. I'm going to put test 150. Go to budget $2.50. Make sure this is daily. Remember on networks, make sure you uncheck this. Make sure you put all language. And this time, instead of targeting them same uh, territories, we're going to go to enter location. And this time, we're going to go to advanced search and we're going to exclude those four territories. United States, you're going to exclude. Canada, you're going to exclude. Australia, we're going to exclude. And United Kingdom, we're going to exclude. Make sure you press save. And it's going to target all the air, all other territories except those four countries that are excluded. Inventory type, make sure it's on standard. Excluded content, make sure you leave these unchecked. Uncheck that one. Advanced settings, we're not going to fool with the advanced settings. I'll put test 188 demographics we're just going to leave that how that is keywords I'm sorry we're going to go to audience and the same category since I'm doing on YouTube ads remember according to your product or what you're sharing if it's skincare uh, services it's going to populate some relevant uh, audience according to what you're sharing Remember, you know, you just type in the uh, the browser and just type in, you know, a name. If you press golf, it's going to pull up all the audience that's relevant to uh, golf. Possible audiences. Right now, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go since I'm doing a how to do YouTube ads tutorial I'm gonna target these people CEO and okay that's it this is for test purposes okay we're done with that I'm gonna scroll down and we do remember 0 0.05 control copy we're gonna to go to video discovery I'm gonna put this as a easy ads test test and you can fill out those descriptions below you got 35 characters on description one and two you got to make sure you fill that out and have a good header remember 22 characters so it will show up on a discovery when people click on your thumbnail and man, you present a winning thumbnail and I'm gonna put the name this ad name test 199 and that's pretty much it and you look on to my right according to two dollars and fifty cents and zero five cents cost per view look at this nine hundred to twenty two thousand and eight hundred views estimate average average cost per view is one cents to three cents and they will spend ninety five percent of my budget out of a hundred hundred percent spend pretty low cost right and that's pretty much it create campaign check it and you're ready to go and they'll be going under view usually within 24 hours 
or 48 hours if there's any problems you make sure you go to this button right here call the number to see what's going on with your uh, YouTube ads and they are more likely to help you and to go back to my Google ads I'm gonna go back to my campaigns these are the ones that I set up that are under uh, review and uh, if I want to pause these ads you know it's pretty easy you can pause them but to uh, check in the data you click on that particular ad and you go to audiences and this is how the way you check your uh, status of how each audience and how the way they're interacting uh, with your YouTube channel and what you are sharing that's pretty much it of how the way you set up an easy YouTube ad at a low cost with a tight budget if you are expertise or a beginner you can get low cost views quality views and audiences audiences that will interact with your uh, video according to what you're sharing selling brand awareness you can do the same thing with this to grow your YouTube channel and also to increase your views all right that's it with this tutorial I hope you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up share it subscribe to this channel if you want more future relevant uh, videos like these and you enjoy the rest of your day take it easy all right bye